Hi right, guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman Studio. Today we've got Lucas in the chair. How are you doing? Yeah, good. How you good, doing? man. I'm good, man. I'm good, thanks. So, what's the plan? What are we doing today? So, I've had my hair pretty long for the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, initially, I wanted to have it long so I could tie it back, but okay. I wear it tied back and I think I want to be confident wearing it down. Okay. Um, so, I think because it's come and blow my shoulders now, I think mm -hmm. I want to take it maybe to the chin, definitely like shorter a bit. I don't mind if it's short enough that maybe I can't tie it back, but maybe in you know that if I'm not too sure about it, yeah, I yeah. can keep going like my again and then tie it back in. Okay, so when you say to the chin, what, yeah. you, what, you, what I would say like um, I've got some reference photos. Okay, yeah, yeah, if you don't mind, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And then I think that it's so like I always find my hair so straight and it feels pretty like lifeless. And I just want to like bring some kind of texture into it. Um, you know. Okay. Well, let's have a little look at the pictures you're thinking of first, yeah. and we can have a little look what uh, what sort of. Uh... Okay. So maybe that's a little bit too short. Right. Okay. That looks like a pretty good length. I feel like maybe he's got my kind of hair type. Oh, um, okay, yeah, sure. You see what sure. I mean? Like maybe yeah, yeah. like just above the jawline. The only thing is though, ha I, you can't really create texture in this haircut. It's Too a very, kind of, it's like a bob essentially, right? It's a very, it's a very um, kind of cut in shape. Yeah. So essentially the, the, the longest bit is the top and the front and then it almost matches to the back. Sure. So where you put the texture in, I don't know, because essentially what you're looking at there is everyone's just got the hair tied behind their ears. Yeah. So all that, like that one's the same there. So all, all mm -hmm. they've done is drop the fringe. Yeah, yeah. But you, Texture is where you put in uh, either you dry in a different sort of shape, yeah. which you can, mm -hmm. um, or you remove length using yeah. a razor or different techniques, sure. like slide cut and point cut and things like that. Essentially, texture is shorter layers within the longer haircut. Yeah. When you're wearing it like that, though, and the hair is just like, it's like, like a 90s sort of male bob in a sense, I guess. So it's when it's coming longer at the front and then it's cut level at the back, mm. it just sits behind the ear and that's it. Yeah. So there's no, you can't really add texture to that haircut because otherwise if you start cutting a bit shorter, these bits aren't going to go behind the ear. It's not going to match and connect. Yeah. So I we think, need to kind um, of understand what you mean by texture. Like what, what is it that you don't, like you said, your hair is a bit lifeless. Yeah, it's just the way that it sits really straight and, like, and it falls like, when, especially when I wash it, it falls really flat to my face. Um, okay, but I if you if you keep that thought and get them pictures up for me a second, yeah. have a look what all their hair is doing. It's fallen flat, mm. and it's probably to the face, and they're talking it behind the ears. Yeah, that's fallen flat. That's fallen flat. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's fallen flat. Have a look at a couple more. That's fallen flat. That's fall you know what I mean. Like they're all fallen flat for for that reason because the hair is just about being long. Sure, there's, it's not like a textured sort of. Like there's no flow, if you want to, you know, we talk about the word flow, there's none of that going on in this hair because it needs to be very, very long and heavy to create this look. So it's it's ex it's the exactly opposite of what you what you're what you're looking to get. Right. I see what you mean. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out something like kind of some middle ground where basically I want to get it in a way that I feel confident wearing it down. And obviously it's so long at the moment. Um, mm. but I just want to bring it back a bit because it's too long for me. Like it's it's a bit inconvenient to wear it like this. Okay. okay. Um, well, yeah. when you say make make you confident, how can you explain what that means to you? I what think, what does um, confidence with your hair mean to you? I think just a haircut that I like the look of wearing down. I think that this is too long for me. And mm -hmm. um I think um I've never been too happy with it like okay. this. You know, I think I'm just trying to figure out it's, I think my hair type is obviously very specific and mm -hmm. that, you know, it's not, I don't have a lot of wave or curl specific, mm -hmm. you know, that, um, but yeah, it'd yeah. be nice if there was just a bit more going on. If we go back to them, them pictures, because you like the look of that, right? Yeah, yeah. Without the, now I've said about that, it's a non-textured haircut, essentially. Has that changed your mind for this haircut now? I mean, I think that like, I think maybe what I thought was texture is maybe just the way that they've styled it or the way that they've let their hair sit on the day, the way that the photo's been taken. Generally speaking, the length is good. Like I really like that length. Um, yeah, because that is, that is a lot of length off. Like a lot of length off. Are you, are you prepared to go that short? I mean, what? Because you're saying you want it to the like, chin, but yeah. don't forget, what about the back? Yeah. Because the only thing that's long on this haircut, if you just open that one for me there, the neckline's probably the same as mine at the back. Genuinely, it's about the same length right, as mine yeah, at the back. Yeah. And what you're seeing is you're seeing the length of the chin, like you said, mm. but that's the front and here. So all that's to the chin, the back's and the back's exactly the same. Length. So obviously, if you think about it, that hair's gonna come all the way back to match. The, so that's gonna be, like, you know, that much longer, essentially, than everywhere yeah. else, right? Yeah. So the neckline of them haircuts is probably not far off mine. If I take this out, right, because this is, as you see, this is just a bit wet now. Mm. If you look at the length of that one there, yeah. right, and you look at an eye pull mine out, it's probably about the same. Sure, yeah, I see what you mean. But all they've got is much longer hair down to here. Do you see what I mean? So it's that, would you be willing to go to Charles? 
Yeah, I mean, within reason. I don't know whether... There's no within reason here, mate. <laughs> it's either you're going that short or you're yeah, not. <laughs> I, I haven't heard this song for so long. And okay. I kind of want to commit to something different. Okay. You know, I've, I've had it tied back. I commit to that look. Um, now I'm worried about my receding hairline or something like that. I mean, I don't... I, you, I, I, you what, sorry? You know that way, you know, when you're tying it back constantly, it's like there's a worry of, like, your hair receding a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we just, I know we just zoom in on this hairline, mate? I know I've got, like, a three I mean, head, you've but... got, like, you've got no recession whatsoever. Hey, <laughs> yeah. You don't yeah. need to worry about any of that, yeah. honestly. You really don't. Well, I, don't pick haircuts based on things yeah. that are, are not as bad as you might yeah, think they are. I think honestly. it's... It I mean, it's more so just... You know, I'll I'll wash my hair. It'll take ages. It'll take mm -hmm. ages to dry. Mm -hmm. It is like going all the way down my back. I I just it annoys me now. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. No, I and, get it. I get it. Um, I think that like I grew it out initially because I like the thought of having a yeah. template to work with. You know, yeah, when yeah, yeah. I wanted to work it back and try different haircuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of um, course, yeah. So you know, I'm I'm pretty ready to commit to something that's okay. significantly yeah, yeah. shorter. Um, I mean, I guess this is like what you're saying. It's kind of the illusion of longer hair, isn't it? Yeah, um, it, it, it's exactly that. Yeah, yeah. But also, it's a, it's 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 an illusion of of a sort of textured haircut as well, though, mm. because that I think that is quite wet and it's been dried and obviously it's been tucked out. Like if you think about the, if you think about a camera, right? Mm. How quickly does a picture get taken from a camera? Yeah, I mean. So, for example, if I if I was here like this, right? If, if Liam was if we were doing a photo shoot of you now, mm. and I went like this, right? on your hair yeah. and we took a photograph yeah. and it looked as though your hair was just falling perfectly to one side yeah. it was like, and then a guy took that picture came into yeah. me and said I want this mm. I be like, I used a hairdryer on that to get that image so that there could just be a one tenth of a second shot mm. where his hair's falling perfectly like that yeah I see what you mean. Mm -hmm. Every single day is your hair going to fall like that? Every day you're going to be happy with the hair falling <laughs> on your eyes like that? No definitely not because the only other thing you do with this haircut is you talk behind the ears mm. So you will have to commit to that look and that look alone. Yeah. It's, it's a very distinctive haircut because mm -hmm. you can't do much else with it because the back is so, sh so much significantly shorter yeah. than the sides and the top. Mm -hmm. And the top is very, like, very top heavy because yeah. it needs to come from the hairline all the way back and to meet at the back there. Mm -hmm. So are you, are you, it, it's not really a versatile haircut, mm -hmm. really. It's kind of just tucking it behind your ears and that's kind of the look. You know, it's very, it's a bit Keanu Reeves-ish from like back in the day. You know, yeah. it's that kind of thing. It's, that, it's mm. that look where it's a kind of almost a grown out uh, undercut hairstyle in a sense. So it's just very heavy down the middle yeah. and it's just tucked behind the ears, you know? Yeah. If that's something you're willing to commit to, obviously we can we can go ahead and do it. Mm. I just don't know whether you, whether you'd realise that's the haircut that's it, and that's yeah. it alone. Do you know what I mean? You are such a blank canvas. I mean, my I couldn't pick a hairstyle for you right now. No, I straight know. away. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Because yeah. you you could do anything you wanted with your hair now. I mm. think I think what we need to do is like if you're happy with that style, we could cut it into that shape. If you if that if 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 after everything I've said and maybe you've you've realised how short it could be and the look of you know being only one sort of style. Yeah. If you'd like to change your mind, if you do want to change your mind, we have to start back at the drawing board a little bit and then try and figure out length that you'd like and, and texture that you'd like. So what, sure. what would you prefer to do? Is, it, is is that something that you want to stick to or...? Just looking at these reference photos, yeah. would you say that all these other references are looking at the set, similar kind of haircut, similar kind of hair length at the back? Like is this, I mean, I don't know if that looks a little bit longer too. That's well longer, yeah, yeah. That's, well, that's a lot longer, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of variation here, but mm. I feel like maybe... I, I was trying to find something that was shorter, but I wanted to keep it long. Okay. I mean, that's maybe too much of a commitment, but if we were to go for something like that kind of hair length, yeah, where yeah. I'm taking it up, but it's not so much of a drastic change, then maybe that would be more of a middle ground between those two haircuts. Okay, okay. I, I think anything you I do today is going to be a, a drastic change, yeah, yeah. to be fair, yeah. uh, if you've had your hair that long before. But I mean, that, that again is, uh, there's elements that I think are going to be very short for you. Mm. I just want you to be aware of that before yeah. we, we, we go ahead and do it. No, something. that's okay. I, I mean, can't put it back on. No, I mean, so, I've, I've grown my hair up before, I can do it again. Okay, you know, all right, cool. Not, okay, because if we look at where that is now, that your, your hair comes to your shoulder blades, yeah. right, if you sit nice and straight. Yeah. The, the length of that one, in particular, it probably comes to, like, here. Mm. So you're probably going to be losing at least that much off, at least. Yeah. Probably a bit more, because we thinned out and stuff. So probably about that much. Yeah. Are you okay right. to lose? No, I'm, I'm more than yeah? that, so it's that much. All right, yeah. cool. Because that, that would be more versatile. Yeah, hundred million percent more versatile. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm yeah. Happy to that then, yeah. With leaving that much length in there as well, you know, I I think we'd probably get a little bit of, I think we'd be able to create a different texture in your hair. Yeah, it's a it's basically a one length haircut, so it's shorter underneath, longer at the top, and they're all just very long layers. There's no shorter layers added into your haircut whatsoever, mm. right? So that's why you're struggling. Yeah. 
because there's no movement going on at all. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. you've got this, this here. That there's nothing shorter within that mm. section. Yeah. For it to match down to the bottom. Mm. That's why you're not being able to do anything with it. Yeah. The minute you start getting some shorter bits other through it, that's when it changes instantly. Mm. But yeah, I think I think if you like that length. Yeah, absolutely. Honestly, you you're not you're not tied down to a certain look then. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. That's all. All right, cool. I think yeah, definitely just having a bit of variation on that length. Yeah, yeah, so, something awesome. along the lines of that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Man. Are you happy to let me kind of go ahead and just kind of work with the texture and add, yeah. add whatever needs to be added? Into yeah, that's there? fine. I mean, just you know, because I think it's quite hard to because it because it is kind of like a, a sort of it's kind of like a standard sort of length, should we say, right? Mm -hmm. Of it just being like a sort of medium to long length. Mm -hmm. Everything else that we add into there will just be based on your how thick your hair is and everything else as well. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll kind of explain that as we're going through. Yeah. All right. No worries. Cool. All right. Well, let's. When did you shampoo and condition this last? Uh, I did it this morning. You did it this morning. Yeah. Okay. Well, obviously I don't need to do that again. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll give it a rinse through, um, and then it'll just be easier to section off that way. All right, man. Okay. Cool, man. Sure. Right, guys. So we've just um, I've just rinsed uh, Lucas's hair through. I put a little bit of conditioner through it as well. Um, just to make it sort of absorb water a bit more so I can section it off better because he did just shampoo and condition it this morning. I would normally do that myself, but um, Lucas did it for me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start by separating the back and sides to the top. I'm going to cut this into a horseshoe because I want to create that shape. And I want to try and start creating a texture into the hair as well. So by using the palm to palm um, cutting method that we do, what you find is that by taking the hair that shows at the top, it creates a square shape, which, which is what we always want to try and aim for. But also it allows the layer of the hair in a much more textured finish, more than it being like a long section all the way down to the bottom, which would be say, if we horizontally cut it and pulled it down. So by doing vertical sections, it creates a, a bit more of a texture in there. So I'm gonna section off one side and work around to the back like so. So I'm going to start off by taking off the length to kind of get to that point. So we're looking at probably about sort of just on the sort of collar shoulder length, what we're looking at. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take my first section here and I want this to sort of fall probably, probably a, around the same length as well. So this is going to kind of give our guide. And then I'm going to take the back up a little bit to match the side. So it's still, it's like a bit of a longer version of the, of the last haircut, which is a lot more versatile. Right, so I'm going to look at what length needs to come off. I'm going to take that much off. That will fall into the longer section down the bottom. I'm going to use this as a guide now. So I'm still taking my usual two finger width sections because there's still even length in there. As you see, two finger width on each one. That same pattern all the way around the back and sides. So we're going to use this as our sort of guide for the length, but I'm going to take it up shorter as well at the nape so that it matches from the sides to the back as well. There you go. Right, so that is the length taken off. Now it still looks like there's a lot of length in there, right? But as we take this up, this is where the length starts to, to get a bit shorter. So what I'll do, I'm gonna cut the perimeter in now. And this needs to go to the shorter length that I picked there. Okay, so I'm gonna do a nice straight cut along. Now this is just about putting in the shape, okay? We texturize everything at the end, okay? Now what we'll do is we'll bring this back and we'll use this as our guide for the neckline. 
like so. Like so. Okay? And now it's just cut that straight across. Because we'll be cutting into this as well. Even a bit more than the front there. But we're still going to like the sort of shoulder collar then as well. Okay. I'll just trim the side bands now, just tighten them up a little bit. some textures for it now as well. So we use the razor. Now this is the thing that's going to create that shape for, mm. for Lucas, right? It's going to be the thing that is going to add that movement, everything else that he needs going on there. So if we were just to leave it like this, it'd be almost very similar to the first one, just on a longer, a longer um, basis, which is essentially the, the other haircut we're following. But the other haircut's got the texture in it that creates that movement. So that's what we're going to do to help it move about. Because don't forget, you can go a little bit more heavier here because the top's going to fall onto this bit anyway. So you can kind of go to town a little bit on the old uh, razor work. And Lucas's hair is ridiculously thick, so we're kind of we're kind of not limited to. We can almost over texturize this really, in a way to give the shape that we need. I want to try and give him a, quite a different type of textured hair for, like finish today. So just just this technique with using a razor and using the kind of palm to palm can break up what would essentially be just a very straight blunt finish. If you don't think of the picture, it's starting to look a bit similar. We're getting that little bit of movement in there now as well. All right. I think the more sporadic you are with this kind of texturizing technique, the more sporadic the texture is, the more natural it looks as well. Mm. Look at that one side to the other. Yeah. You know it's got a bit of more volume for sure. Just that side just falls heavy. Yeah. That side. Mm. Just a bit layer, yeah. 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 Holds that bit better. So again, it should give you that confidence where you can just change it up a little bit as well. Yeah, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Especially like I know I know what you were saying about like sort of being able to wear it down and stuff, because again, you just wear it in a bun. What's the point of having it in a sense? You know, just, thing, you're yeah. just doing the same thing all the time, you know? Mm. So um I think having been able to wear it having an option. Like I think you will still be able to tie this up. Yeah. You know what I mean? You still will. That's so great, it's not yeah. gonna be too much of a you know, you'll still be able to tie it up. It's not that's what I mean, that, that first that first picture would have been totally like yeah, I can't even try mine different. up at all so you know mm. probably wouldn't have been far off mine really um yeah. so yeah but this you, this you still can there's enough length in the neckline you can still pull this in it might not be a big sort of top bun or anything like that but you'll still be able to tie it with you if you need to yeah it's getting your nerves one day you know mm. yeah I was at work it's, it's a bit of a pain I'm, I'm not um what are you doing for work at the moment I work in film and tv oh um, cool but the strike's going on at the moment and um in America so it's a little bit more difficult for work at the moment but, yeah I can imagine it's all good what side of what side of things you do then? Uh, camera, camera department. Camera, yeah. Yeah, it's tricky. It's like mainly the American productions that are shooting over here. They're obviously closing down because mm. it's it's um, the screen acting guild of America that's that's striking. That's causing the problem. Ah, um, right. It's so a knock on effect, essentially. Yeah. Then, yeah. But you've still got like British TV dramas and um, you know, other work like. Um, more sort of short form like that broadcast events that kind of thing oh yeah so yeah. you'll find that like people that are doing maybe more long form american productions they're dipping into these other uh, you know avenues of work yeah of course yeah oh, interesting right i'm just checking now everything's the same either either side and um, whatever isn't i'm using the razor instead of the scissor to connect that in you have it for me is it straight start off by connecting this in. Now, 
I'm going to connect this sort of halfway, standard section, and I'll let this do the talking down the bottom here for the length, let this create that shape. Usually I would have just done like a sort of top heavy finish, cut it down to about there, but I don't know if that's going to impede on the look a little bit like, so. So I'm going to connect it to the first section that I did in the sides and pull it up and out, like so. I'm going to cut it and connect it to that point there. I'm going to point cut into this because it's hair so straight. Especially for the connection of this haircut, I'm going to point cut into this. It just, uh, it's much easier than going over and trying to get a, a straight line out of straight hair. So this is just going to enhance the shape and the texture. Because I keep referring back to that texture. So I feel like that was something that, when, when you said it, Lucas, I felt like that was what your, I think you said it was almost desperation. <laughs> that you wanted yeah. to be able to have something in your hair that you could play around with, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think if I was to connect it down the bottom, I don't know how that would have looked with now. It's got a little bit more, you can see the shorter layer sits above the longer bit. I just think that adds a bit more to it than it just being a really long layer all the way down. I'm just gonna work from here up into the top. Pull this out, this is straight, there's a guide. a lot more texture as well. I'm going to leave this section for the time being. I'm going to texturize it now. So I'm almost kind of doing the texture as I go along today. Um, I find it's letting me see the, so it's visually a little bit more, uh, I don't know, for some reason it's just really, really visual on your hair today, because I feel as though this re this razor work really, really come brings your hair to life a little bit, mm. if I'm honest. It's good news. Um, yeah, 100%, yeah. So I'm kind of just um, doing this, doing it almost like side by side. More than doing what I normally would do, I'd do the whole cut first and then do the texturizing, you know? Yeah. So same thing again. This side now. Here we go, there's our guide. So that's the section down the middle, which we ended both at the both um, both sides, just off centre. Now I'm going to use this on the left hand side, the right side as my guide, and do a horizontal section straight up and off. And there you go. I'm going to use that as my guide, just right there. I'm going to use a razor to remove this length and pull this out like so. Create a really serrated finish all the way through. So I'll create a nice little bit of drop and texture as it falls. You get a bit of height in there mm. as well. There you go. So as this falls, I'm thinking of the ends of this, they're not going to be spiked up, are they? So they're going to be falling into the sides and the back. So I want them to fall in really, really like serrated so it gives a very nice natural finish as well. I'm going to from there. And move this, it falls nicely into the back. It's our guide on the left. We should have our connection underneath as well. There we go. So, I'll move the little corner. 
Und ich spreche noch. Nice, so gut. Quasi. There you yeah. go. A shorter, more textured haircut now. Yeah. So you can wear it anywhere you want now. Wear whichever way you want down the middle. I think you kind of suit it just up and over a little bit as yeah. well. Off your face slightly as well. Okay. It's quite nice. Kind of just go with, with whichever way I think falls quite nicely for you, if I'm honest. Maybe just mm. from left to right a little bit. Yeah. Seems to match you. Sort of gives you a little bit of a shape through there as well. Yeah. yeah. Now, what I'll show you to do is when it comes to drying it, okay? So I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a finishing product at the end, but I'm gonna dry something in for you. So I'm gonna dry in yep. um a yeah, it's a that's it's for curly hair, you haven't got curly hair, right? Yeah. But what I wanna do, I wanna try and create a bit of a bend in there, right, by just using the diffuser. So this is like a, a, a curling jelly, right? So what it does, it kinda it's a bit like a gel, but a very soft gel. Mm. So it's got a bit of memory to it. So what it'll do is as you work it into the hair, as you dry this in. It's very good for heat protector, but also it starts to kind of set it a touch yeah. as well. Not not a lot, but just enough that it will give you a little bit more of a wave. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Just working into the hair as well, make sure. Right, so, start off by diffusing this, right? So, the sides falling. Put it over like I'm doing now. That's it. And just drop your hair in and just push it up against the head. Work it around. And do that until you can't take the heat anymore, okay? And you're just going to get a little bit more movement than you would do if it was just left to dry natural, okay? So that is a longer version of the picture. I don't know if I'm just going to break this up. And also it's close to that other one as you, you show me as well. So you've still got that kind of like top heaviness. You've still got a lot more length in there. It's not, sh it's, it's more like a shoulder length than it is yeah. kind of neckline or, you know, kind of a, let's say collar length in a sense. Yeah, still got a bit to play with there. Still got a bit to play with, yeah. yeah. But what you've got now is an actual shape to the haircut as well. Mm. So you can still tie this up. You've got all that length to tie it if you want to still. Yeah. But you've also got an opportunity to play around with it and make it a bit more uh, textured if you want to as well. And play around with it that way as well. Yeah, perfect. No, obviously it looks perfect. It on. does look nice, doesn't it, man? It does, it works. Just breaking up that little straight line we put in before. I always tend to do this when it's done because it's how you're going to wear it, so. Yeah. So I'm gonna finish off with this um, this cream, okay? Yep. It's, it's a bit, it's a paste slash cream, right? Mm. Yeah, so I find that like with having long hair, you know, you're not washing it that regularly, maybe no. every four days or so. Yeah, yeah. And I'll find like by the time I get to day two, day three, I've got a bit of that like those natural oils to hold it. Yeah, obviously. yeah, definitely. And then with that, it comes to maybe like slightly greasy look, and you don't want that. So yeah, yeah. It's good to get that hold. Definitely. Very this long. is kind of what it gives you. So if you were to freshly wash your hair, mm -hmm. and then, because it basically is freshly washed today, and then you put a little bit of like something like this type of styling product on, you end up with almost like a two to three day old haircut. Yeah. Uh, so your hairstyle, but freshly washed. So you're getting the bit of the best of both worlds, really, do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's all I want you to kind of have is just something that's a little bit textured, a little bit yeah. easier for you to, to manage, really, because mm -hmm. your hair is very, very thick and straight. Yeah. Well, thin that as best I can, as yeah. much as I can. That's the main thing. Yep. And you end up with just a nice textured finish. So have a little feel about yourself. Feel, see, have a feel of what I mean by that. Yeah. yeah. Kind of second day old. Yeah. So I know you, you mean. feel like it's something in your hair. A bit more the, thickness there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Definitely. And then if I just give you this as well. 
I was tempted to tuck behind my ears just because I find that it falls pretty straightforward. But like, mm. and that generally speaking, that's because I don't like, I didn't like the way it looked, but I like the way that I can have a, the odd strand coming down yeah, the front yeah. and, uh, and maybe tuck a little bit behind, but just sort of like keep it a little bit messy. That's it, yeah. It's pretty good that way. Exactly. It just, it's a bit like a sort of, um, it's a bit like more a, mo a modern take on a bit of a kind of 90s sort of vibe. Yeah. Uh, like haircut, essentially, you know? Mm. Uh, let me see you on this way, so you can kind of see. There's the length you're at now. Yeah. So it's cut to the shoulders, right? But as you can see, you've now got a lot more movement. And so it's not just a one length cut all the way down. You've got these layers sitting through here that, you know, over like, the next few days, they'll, they'll stand out even more because they'll be a bit heavier yeah. because they're unwashed. Uh, and all that texture will come out as well. But as you can see now, you've got a more balanced haircut as well. Yeah, absolutely. Do you see what I mean? So you can, and you can still, yeah. you still can tie it up as yeah. well. So there's still a lot of length in there to tie up at the same time. Do you know what I mean? So I just want to give you something that was kind of similar to the longer longer version of the one you showed me to start with, mm. just so you could have a bit more to play around with. Yeah, that's perfect, honestly. That's yeah. Exactly what I wanted, yeah. Yeah. Happy though, yeah? Yeah, happy. Come on, thank Sorry. you very much. Thank you. Cheers, Lucas, mate. Appreciate it.